Selling vintage baseball cards is big business on eBay, and the biggest name in the game is Brett Higgins, president of PWCC. By 2019, PWCC was the largest seller of cards on eBay, with annual revenue over $50 million. With any successful business, one of the keys to getting to that position is through advertising and marketing. If you're in the baseball card hobby, you've no doubt seen PWCC logos plastered everywhere, from full-page advertisements in magazines, to banner ads on card forums, to booths at the National. David Siedemann is a longtime journalist who's been writing a regular column on sports cards and memorabilia for Forbes magazine since December 2013. He's a good writer and has some entertaining stories. You should check him out. About four years into his column, Siedemann started writing about PWCC. His first story was in February 2018. In this second article, he describes meeting Brent Higgins for the first time. Higgins lays out his vision of the vintage baseball card market, one where high-quality graded cards can be tracked as assets, and these assets have a higher return on investment than the stock market. This concept must have resonated with Siedemann. After that first article, Brent Higgins and PWCC became a regular part of Siedemann's columns. In 2018, PWCC is mentioned or featured at least once a month in Siedemann's articles. In 2019, this number jumped considerably. From January into May, Brent Higgins or PWCC are featured in 13 of the 28 articles Siedemann wrote. Almost half of all of his stories for Forbes are related to PWCC. Sometimes Siedemann's columns link directly to PWCC's website. Sometimes the articles promote and link to a specific auction that PWCC is having for a high-end card, like this Michael Jordan or Derek Jeter. Some of the stories are announcements of an initiative PWCC is taking, such as creating their top 500 index of card values or the rollout of an investor advising program. PWCC certainly must have appreciated Mr. Siedemann's journalism. If you go into the In the News section of their website, you'll find links to 17 of his articles. 45% of all the articles written about PWCC and put on their website were authored by David Siedemann through Forbes magazine. But what you don't read in any of those articles are allegations that have dogged PWCC for years amongst baseball card collectors, that the very high prices PWCC gets at auction are artificially manipulated through shill bidding. By late May 2019, these and other allegations would explode and turn into the biggest news story in the vintage baseball card hobby. Collectors on the Blowout Cards Forum presented compelling evidence that PWCC was working with Gary Moser, a known card doctor, to sell altered cards on eBay without disclosing the alterations to buyers. There was additional information that shill bidding was in fact happening in a number of PWCC's auctions. The details about these allegations are discussed in a video that's linked above. With PWCC now becoming the news, you might wonder where David Siedemann was. His last column mentioning PWCC was written on May 14th, but it focused on more investment advice from Brent Higgins. Curiously, if you click on that article from PWCC's website, you'll see that Forbes has since removed it. Forbes magazine has written about this growing scandal, but it wasn't Siedemann who wrote the article. It was by Ray Glyer. It does mention PWCC and makes it pretty clear that fraud is rampant in the baseball card hobby. Siedemann is still writing his columns for Forbes, but doesn't mention Brent anymore. Instead, he's gone back to covering high-end auctions of cards and sports memorabilia. The last year and a half was a very successful period for PWCC. One of the keys to their success was advertising and marketing. In one of their 2019 ads, they touted that they have the largest marketing and PR team in the industry. What exactly do you think they meant by that? 